What's up, YouTube? Supely. Oh, lucky here. Today we have a classic Epic 10 from 2005, the Rocket Warrior 10. And then I want to ask you guys to check out the channel and subscribe and bell me. Bell me for some more epic Yu Gi Oh videos. All right, you guys, so here we go. The classic 2005 Rocket Warrior 10 looks pretty sweet. It's been a long time since we've uh, opened up one of these, so this is going to be pretty cool. Um, comes with some classic packs, but thanks to our friends at Ultra Pro, we have this beautiful Is It Wrong to Pick Up Girls in a Dungeon playmat. I very much like that anime. And then we have some clear Pro mats, not Pro mat, just regular clear Ultra Pro sleeves for our foils. And speaking of foils from this pack, you guys, we are just not on our best luck here pulling foils out of this, out of these tins lately. So hopefully we can at least get one foil this time out of the five packs inside. And you guys know the drill. It's pretty oh baby if we pull two. It's pretty insane and it's godly if we pull three or four. Alright, so here is the Rocket Warrior. Look at that bad boy. Very cool card there. Rocket Warrior here. We'll take it, take it out of the, the little plastic here and we'll sleeve it up in our beautiful clear sleeve. So at least we got one foil, right? Very nice. And so from the packs inside, we have Dark Beginning, Dark Revelation, Soul of a Duelist, Rise of Destiny, and Flaming Eternity. Okay, set this right there. Alright, so first pack, let's start from the back here. So let's do Flaming Eternity. Alright. Trying to remember all these goddesses' names, but uh, it's not gonna happen. Hestia, Loki. Uh, yeah. <laughs> okay, so can we get a foil out of these five packs, you guys? Believe in the heart of the cards. We have Fulfillment of Contract, Flame Ruler, Insect Knight. Of all insect fighters, he's the paragon of indestructible insect invaders. A good goblin housekeeping. And ultimate, ultimate insect level 5. Oh baby, there we go. Getting an ultimate, ultimate card. That's always fun. So level 5 I believe is rare normally, so that's pretty sweet. Getting an ultimate rare out of 5 packs. Starting strong with Flaming Eternity. Man, our rares though. You know what, we probably used all of our luck on our uh, Light of Destruction and Phantom Darkness boxes. Because we pulled some epic ultimate rares. Ultras, all three of them were ultras. Yeah, those were some epic ultimates. Because lately we've been getting a lot of rare ultimates, but can't complain. Blade Rabbit, Hand of Nephites, DD Dynamite, and Golem Sentry. So, I'm gonna sleeve that bad boy up. So we did get a foil. Alright, let's get the O Baby. Come on, heart of the cards. Here we go. Uh, let's switch it to Dark Revelation. Let's do this. Tip card. Guardian Boa, uh, Lester Dragon, Necoman King, a DD Trainer, a poor goblin that was sucked into a different dimension. However, he's doing his best with his new destiny. I think that's funny. Magical Merchant, Apprentice Magician, and oh baby, an ultra rare judgment of Anubis. There we go. Getting some hot cards right now. Ultra rare, ultimate rare. That's pretty nice. Oh, Geometrio, D Tribe, Sinri, Incandescent Ordeal, and Meta Silver's Armor. Got some epic classic cards here. It's a beautiful dragon covered in sapphire. Alright. So we're going to sleeve that bad boy up. Two foils out of five packs. So we got the O Baby. Let's get the Insanity and go for three foils. Man, it's been a long time since I've seen Judgment of Anubis, by the way. Discard one card from your hand, your hand to get the activation and effect of a spell card controlled by an opponent that has the effect of destroying spell or trap cards on the field. Destroy it. After that, you can destroy a face-up monster. You can destroy a face-up monster your opponent's side of the field and inflict damage to your opponent because that monster's attack. Wow. Can do some shenanigans. It is counter speed too, so it can only be stopped by a counter. All right, Rise of Destiny. Can we get three foils out of five packs? We haven't pulled a creator in a while. <laughs> Zing Zen Hu, Harpy's Hunting Ground, a Harpy Girl, a Harpy Chick, who aspires to flit about beautifully and gorgeously, but attacks sharply. And this one is not the censored version because it's first edition. 
a Homunculus, the Akemic being, uh, covering fire with the Mechanical Soldier and the Tournament Impact Mechanical Chaser. Creator Incarnate, a Woodborg Impachi. It's from the Dark World, right? This new form of uh, Impachi was remodeled after cutting edge Dark World technology. There you go. Uh, Bakoichi, nice. We actually got one of these just recently in our hashtag more Mega Mail MMM video from our Retro Pack opening. That was last video. And uh, a fried car that is exclusively for Dikoichi. Dikoichi. It can transport anything, but most cargo arrives broken. <laughs> Very cool. You see Dikoichi over there. And mecha, heavy mech support platform. Alright, now it's time for the Dark Beginnings. Begin and end with some epic foil cards right here, right now. We have a tip card. Exodia decks. One of the easiest ways to build an Exodia deck is to focus on cards that allow you to draw from your deck. Keep your deck around 40 cards and try to add cards that will allow you to draw additional cards. Silver Fang. A snow wolf, beautiful to the eye, but absolutely vicious in battle. Armored zombie, flame manipulator, larva moth, grand tiki elder, a mass monster that wields mostly deadly of curses. Cheer mermaid, and dust tornado rare. Oh man. Force requisition, time seal, nice, a little band action there. Toon world, horn of light and lightning, blade. And yes, our other rare was a covering of fire. So two trap rares. Maybe we're going to get a... Ultimate Rare Trap card from Soul of the Duelist. Or we could just get an Ultimate Rare Horse card. Alright, you guys, how are the cards? Guide us. Here we go. Dun 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 dun. Dun 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 dun. Go for the insanity. Level up! Red Eyes B Chick. Taunt. Unshaven. Master of Oz. Man, we pull this guy off, and I feel like. Wasn't he in our last tin that we opened that had a Soul of the Duelist path? Master of Oz. Speaking of which, I think there's like a new Oz TV show. It's called like Emerald City or something. Ritual Weapon, Masked Dragon, Malice, Malice Doll of Dark Demise. Cool. Big Wave, Small Wave. Nice. Cool. Soul of a Duelist. Everybody loves Soul of a Duelist. Alright, so for our recap, you guys, from this beautiful classic 2005 team, we have the Epic Dust Tornado, the Covering Fire, the Master of Oz for our rares. And then we had two foils this time. Not bad, right? We have the Ultimate Ultimate Insect Level 5. And then we have Judgment of Anubis. I think it's time to do another uh, Battle of Egypt. I really, I really enjoyed doing that. Battle of Egypt's fun. And of course, our Rocket Warrior. Very cool. Look how pretty he is. Very nice. And once again, you guys, thank you so much for watching. And remember to subscribe and bell me. Bell me for some more epic Yu-Gi-Oh! videos. And stay tuned for some epic Booster Box battles coming up very soon. And simply, oh, lucky signing out.